All right guys, so I'm gonna teach you foils. How do you make really good foils? So I'm just gonna give you the basic. You can make bigger ones if you want, but this is for, this is about the size, right? For one, so you start, you could do a pack of 10, and then you could also fold them in half. So when you do that, you wanna also, you could fold the top part. I like to fold the top part back just to give it a little extra strength. Some people do too, I don't need to. One, two, three. And so it looks like that, okay? That is for medium to long hair, and then you can make short ones like this. And basically you're gonna take the big ones like this. So like if you're in a crunch, cause you're like, oh my God, there's no foils. You just fold this over. You're gonna hold the middle of it. I literally make it so it's tight, but I can at least get my finger back in there. And then I just separate them. And then I have my top ones. One, two, three. And then I just fold this top one over. And then I have one, two, three. And that is for large to medium. Okay, now I wanna show you, this is super easy. This is really, really easy, these ones in here. And they're like, um, this is the ones from Costco. So when you really want it super fast, you just basically take the foils out of here, flatten them. One, two, three. That's like the same way. And you could do these two ways. Say if you need one that's a little bit smaller, you could do it this way too. That way, or you could do it straight down the middle. But this is the ones that we like the most, that we use the most. And you could have a small lip. You don't have to have a big one. Depends on what you're doing. Nice and easy. This is to make foils, easy peasy guys. Just wanted to show you how to make a whole bunch of foils quickly. Now I wanna show you combs. These are highlighting combs. I don't like the blue because it gets really dirty if you're using low lights to, to highlight hair. So it could get really dirty and messy, so I don't like the blue ones. I love the black because it doesn't get dirty at all. It looks still nice and clean and brand new. And I'm just gonna put them on here to show you. This is baby lights, super tiny, tiny baby lights. Little, little baby hair. This is gonna make highlights like Kissed by the Sun, as if a little girl had natural highlights. That's this one. This one's gonna be a little more than you can see. See that has like little bigger teeth. You can see that this will be a little bit more but it's very systematic and then this one's even bigger and this will be a little bit more bold pieces that you can see which if i was going to use this i'd probably do back to back but i don't really use this one often i use this all the time and then i create my own with this this is my favorite comb it's medium size but i love to just do them myself because i'm a creator I love to use my imagination and see where they're gonna go. So that is highlighting video for, for the highlights and the comb. Now I need to teach you about lightener. This one, this one, this one, and these are my favorite four. All right, so they all do something different. This is a clay base. This is called Free Lights by Wella. It's nice and thick, clay base, and um, it's so, so luxurious. It really doesn't swell up, it doesn't get thick, it doesn't get hard, my favorite. And Blonder, we use this like 90% of the time too. Blonder by Wella as well. This is a great one. And it's just a blue. This is blue so that it counteracts, has like a little bit of that blue in there really to get rid of yellow. Now this is um, Whitmore House for balayage but sometimes I'll use a scoop in this in my lightener with this now this is our new one two toe let me tell you this two toe is magnificent 
What I love about this is this is the most powerful lightener that we've ever had. Um, when we tried this, I mean, we'd get black hair really pretty blonde, which we were very, very impressed. And it's a great conditioning um, lightener as well. But I like to put my free lights inside of this so it's more creamy. So now I'm just gonna show you how to mix it. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you mixing a little bit of that. And I, you can also measure it by, you could do it one of two ways. You can mix it with a little wand I want to show you though too, mixing them together, my fave. It makes it just a lot creamier and it just lays on the hair so nice. And you want lightener thick enough, but thin enough uh, that it doesn't slide. You want it thick enough so it doesn't slide, but you don't want it too thick so you can't move it, so it's like cement. Like, look, you see how it's like not dripping? You want it like that. So it doesn't drip, but yet it's thick enough. And then you're gonna be able to see perfect consistency when you lay it on that foil. And we'll use that for the foil. Now I wanna show you the other one. This one definitely is needs a little love, but it's super powerful. That's what we love about it. When you need to get highlights light, you're using this baby. It's very condensed. It's very small. It's blue to cut the warmth. Now I'm going to show you when it's like too thick. And not that you can't mix it perfect, you can, but that's just a little runny, see it? Where I'll just put a little more. But this is pretty good consistency, actually. Because if you let it set for a second, yeah, it'll swell just a little bit. But this really doesn't swell much, just so you know. So that's actually perfect consistency, too. So that, to me, is the absolute best way to do a foil. I'm just gonna show you on here too. And I like these turned around. I'm gonna put it right on that hair. And I like to put it right in the middle, right? That's where I'm putting it, in the middle. And then I go down, down, down the foil and then when I'm coming up to the top, I like to, to try to sweep the top up. Or if I tease that hair a little, then I could just do it right to the, right to the top. So that's how you do it. See, nice, consistent. And let me show you the other one. Yeah, that, which one do I like better, this one? I love, love, love that free light. So soft and very mild for the hair too. And then I would just go all the way down. And you get that hair. So even if you had long hair, you could take it, do it down, and then you fold it up, and then you could push it up. Good.